Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to House version 1.4. A new update to the game House, which is a game where you have to survive your house as it really wants to get rid of you in very violent ways. So this update adds some new secrets, some new enemies, and a completely new boss and ending, which takes place canically after the true ending of the game. So the lore is... Yeah, here it is. Sometimes I find myself dreaming about this place, I can feel pulling back, like I never even left. I remind myself this time, it's just a dream and old memory. So, canically, we have escaped the house. We're going off the last ending. Now we're dreaming of the house. And things have changed. There is the clock. There's a frog. Try to see if there's anything else new here. There's the ducky. Music feels a little different. Kitty. Snail. Oh, a little girl. An adorable one at that. My name is Marty, and I'm a snail. You smell like you're having a hard time. I smell like I'm having a hard time? Would you like some help? Pick it up. So what do I do with my life, snail? Do I feel like slightly faster? Hey, mom. Get that thing off your head. It's unsanitary. Let's see if there's any other new commentary we can get with the snail. I hate snails more than I hate father. Youch. Oh look, our portrait changed. There's a plant here. I think that plant was there before. Hey. So you need that disgusting snail's help. Pathetic. Will you hold me? Let's get the duckling. There's supposed to be a new boss in this game too, but I'm not sure it is. Uh, we're doing everything a little bit slower because I'm just kind of feeling things out. Let's get the bucket. There's a Squidward ghost. Let's get some water. For the... Ha! Ah, I always love that. Sneal, what do you actually do for me? Yep, and there it starts set. Oh, look, there's someone up here. Hi. Oh, hello, young lady. I was just peeping a little. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, you never noticed me before. That's because I came in an update. That's odd. I've always been here. Watching. Oh yes, Tabby. Would you mind helping me with something? The croaking. I can hear it from my house. It keeps me up at all hours of the night. I can't even remember the last time I slept. Would you mind disposing them for me? It's very important that you cleanse this curse, Tabby. Run along now, dear. There's much to be done. What happens if I take an axe to you? So you want me to kill all the frugs. Hey, you're new, aren't you? Are you friendly? Um, you have scissors. Game over. There's one of them frugs. Your sister sure is cute. Think you could put in a good word for me? Uh, Melody, you have to try and save her. 
The doll sure is rude. What was that thing? I almost looked like... No, it couldn't be her. It's just a bad dream. Hell again. Look, I could use my help. Frug? Come here. Yeah, we're faster. Like a lot. It's subtle, but it's fairly fast. You can see it right there. I'm not sure if there's a downside to using the snail. Even our stamina recharges faster. Kill out of a frug. Excuse me. Now all that. Oh, there's another frug up there. How do I get that frug? I'm taking this. You're supposed to, like, stop the piano ahead of time, but, uh... We're not gonna focus on that right now. Interesting. We can get more water. There goes that. Here's another frug. Frug! How's her arm? Will you hold me? Oh, she commentated about the arm. Frog right here. There goes that. You can take her. I'm not focusing on that ending, sorry. You've been busy, saved your whole family, and then murdered them all. You even managed to break free from this house. And yet you keep coming back. It's strange. The frogs seem to be drawn to this house. They're not even native to the area. The previous occupants tried to exterminate them. They disappeared shortly after that. Didn't even say goodbye. Would you mind disposing them for me? Hop to it, young lady. More frogs to kill. Daddy's home. This ain't good. I'm gonna need to kill him. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> that Toby Kai, come maybe ask me. Well, now I understand why you have daddy issues. If we keep wandering it, she'll feel a little happier. I'm starting to memorize this tune. Hop on. Okay. So let's try... Let's try the... Rather than doing the frog one, let's try the... Watering the plant one. There, my friend. Oof. Even with the sea snail, that was like tough. Interesting. You're back at it again. What's pulling you here? Missing the family? Or are you just looking for an excuse to see me? <laughs> I'm just being silly. Have a nice dream, Tabby. Oh, yes, Tabby. Do you mind helping me with something? The croaking. You hear it from my house. Oh, it's like every time I go back, it gets watered. Interesting. Does it mean I can only water, run, run for death? How much if I do use the axe on you? Yeah, nothing. Huh. Ah, figured there'd be like repercussions. That sweet old lady, you just chopped off her head. Not now, Tabby. I need the time to process what I saw. That was a bad thing? You actually remembered that? Is she gonna call me out on and be like, You can't get the frog ending anymore? 
new journal entry. Hmm. The plant's fully healed. Hey, I'm gonna read the journal, don't kill me. Green thumb. Melody always loved gardening. Our old house had flowers everywhere. Even though she's gone, I know she would have loved it. Are you implying that I'm a bucket filling crybaby? Not funny. Your good sister. And now Tabby. You're so upset about the old lady thing. Oh, she is gone. Alright. I accidentally murdered an important character. Whoops. Ready for another adventure? Maybe the old lady will be back this time around. Like, it just affects her for the next cycle. We'll see. No, old lady's gone. Like, she's just gone outright. Oh, there she is. That was very rude what you did to me, young lady. Come back when you learn some manners. But I've learned manners. I understand now. I shouldn't just randomly chop people in half. Whoa! Whoa! She falls. She follows. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woof. It's killable. How are you feeling tonight? Oh yes, Tabby, would you mind helping me with something? Frogs, frogs, frogs. Do that. So you're hanging with snails now. Can you leave out the pickles next time? All right, let's just try a run where we just hunt frogs. Okay. Oh, crap. Get review. Do I get all the frogs yet? I notice I'm feeling like a slime grail. Nope, there's still some frogs. Might be one in here. Sometimes there's one down below. Nope, we got... There goes the mom. We got them all. Hear the frog noise? Up to it, young lady. I may mean, hear it, but I don't see the frog. It bugged out, sadly, but that was the boss. Okay. So, we, our game locked because we went out the door just as the frog arrived. So we're going to have to do this all over again. So we can kill the frog. The frog lord. So one frog spawns somewhere in the house. And the next one doesn't spawn till you kill that frog. So if you're lucky, which we weren't, the initial spawns right here. But I think it almost... It feels like I almost need the snail. Just to, like... Get to all these frogs fast enough.
I'm going to try to save ammo not wasting on the scissors girl. I'm not sure on her mechanics. She might be able to be defeated with a slingshot. Possibly. Need to get around the carpet. Whoa! Evil. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, she trips eventually. And I trip on you. See, that's what happens you run with scissors, okay? Okay, we did. It's frog getting secure. Just need to write out the time. Crap ahead of time. Come on, you damn frog. I hope we don't have to talk to the old lady. Ribbit, ribbit. You die for your crimes. Come on, you dang frog. Step on. Maybe when it spits acid? I don't know what else to do. I need to smack at least once. Rat, save me! Unless it only spits acid. I'm not sure. I used both ammo. And my bowling ball. Rat? I mean, cat. Oh! Scary. It just splots you. Let's try that again. I know we can beat him, Tabby. Thanks, Snail. I did it! Oh. Oh. The frogs are dead. Kermit? The beast falls over, suddenly still. He is croaked. The flies rejoice with their oppressor vanquished. The croaking turns to silence as a little frog beckons you to come closer. And the Kermit the Frog. Hey there! Thanks for saving me! I don't know how long I've been inside that, beast. What a nightmare! I'm just glad it's over! You sure are a hero, manly badass, aren't you? <laughs> Where should I hop to next? Maybe I'll stick around here for a while. You look like you could use a friend. Now go get some rest. I'll see you again soon! You've unlocked the nice doll. Let's see what changed the main game at all.
Oh, hi, buddy. Good journal entry. I had another nightmare about the house. It was different than I remembered. Or maybe I am. It felt good to use my arms again. And it seems I made a new friend. Do you, do you just hang out? Can I do anything with you, frog? Hey, Dabby, I had a great time with you. You know, killing all those dumb frogs? The only good frog is the dead one, if you ask me. You have any commentary about me killing the frog? How are you feeling tonight? Thanks for clearing up that frog problem. I'd call that a real nightmare, wouldn't you, Tabby? <laughs> oh, yes. I know that none of this is real. I just thought maybe you wanted some more stuff to do. Something to get your mind off of all that's happened. I know you miss your family. Maybe there's a way. Ah, don't mind me. Now run along, dear. Update 1.5? You did everything you could. I'll always be here for you. You need to chat. So it looks like that's it for House Version 1.4. So I'm going to show the other endings. So once again, it's all complete into one video. And I'm going to put a timestamp here to where you can skip if you just want to hear my post commentary on the game. But aside from that, that is the it for the new content. You fall to your knees, exhausted. Father's dead. His head rolls over and his glossy eyes shift at you. It's a twitch once and no more. The darkness retreats, but somewhere distant, a fleshy heartbeat continues. You think you've been in it? Well, I'm afraid you're terribly wrong. There's no way to stop it. It never ends. Daddy's home. There's a new gentleman right there. Your sister's song fills the house. The dark burns away as the sound echoes throughout. Deep shadows retreat from your father's eyes. The curse lifts, but at what cost? You must think you're so clever, don't you? But you didn't even do it on your own. You're wasting your time anyway, you know. There's nowhere to stop it. It never ends. What's this? A child, hmm? I see potential in you. The house beckons to you. Your duty is fulfilled. Tabby, I'm home. You've been a very good girl. Blood pools in doorways and seeps into the carpet. Spider covers the walls. It drips from your fingertips. Your father grins madly and embraces you. The doctor swallows you both, leaving nothing behind.
How cute. You really think you can get through this? I don't even care anymore. I was trying to help you. But go ahead. Waste your time all you want. It did not seem possible. The day stretched on and the darkness grew bold. The curse in your house insurmountable. But now the house is still. The endless gnawing dread replaced with a warm meal. You return to your old familiar life. The End So, you're still at it, huh? Didn't hear what I said. Just give up, won't you? This is your reality now. There's no way out. Stop trying. Just accept your fate, won't you? Stop resisting destiny. I won't tell you again. It never ends. Come here, Tabby. You mustn't leave. We've been having so much fun. You need me. You're a fool, a fool, a dumb insignificant. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, stop, there's no hard feelings, right? Go ahead and leave. I won't get in your way. Okay, okay, I lied. It, it does end, please. It feels like so long ago. That house, my family, my arm. It felt like a dream, like I wasn't in control. But I'm free. I'm moving on my own now. What a beautiful day. I get my Chris Rats and Isaac Knight. 
The end. Moving day. Ever since the move, I sometimes can't tell if I'm awake or if I'm dreaming. The taste is starting to blur together. At first it hurt, but I'm starting to not feel it. I can't even tell what's real anymore. I've woken up on the same day three times now. Melody hasn't been the same since it happened. Melford tries to pretend it didn't. I can still smell him rotting through the walls. There's something in there. I can hear it whispering to me. It wants me to do horrible things. Maybe we'll stop if I listen. He's not human anymore. I don't know what he is, but it's not him. It's a strange that I felt relief after. I thought it'd be harder than it was. The pain of the sight of blood made me queasy before. Now it feels as natural as breathing. I remember when Father would hum that song to us before bed. It always puts us at ease. It just hurts my ears now. I did everything for a brief moment. Everything was back to normal. It didn't matter. I still woke up again. In this room. I can't take much more of this. So that's it for version house 1.4. So the nightmare never ends. Now we dream of the house. We have nightmares about it. Maybe they're foreshadowing there's even gonna be more, more content. So on one hand, someone could say, well, they keep adding more and more and more to the game. Just let it end. But on the other hand, it is free content. Once you've bought the game, the, these updates just come in free. They're just more things you can get inherently do with it. And as long as they're kind of escalating a little bit, like this frog one, where the challenge keeps getting outrageous and the, the outcome is kind of outrageous, then I'm kind of fine with that. House is both structurally a kind of frustrating, but a pretty fun, distinct game. And now with a new update, we have a uh, Kermit friend. But yeah, anyway. So, thank you all for watching you play House version 1.4. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.